Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 47. Intrinsically safe conduit or cable runs that leave a class 1 or class 2 location shall be sealed. The seal shall be blank. A. Explosion proof or flame proof. B. Flame proof. C. A and B or D. None of these. So what's your first guess for this? I would think if you look at the question, class 1 and class 2 locations are dealing with hazardous locations. So it would seem explosion proof and flame proof both would be the answer, A and B. Here's something about testing in the index that could help save some time. Hazardous locations, it's a big section of the index. So instead of going there and trying to look for something, when it's dealing with hazardous locations, I might look for something else, like intrinsically safe. So let's go to that part of the code first, and you're going to see why once we get there. We're at the index, Intrinsically Safe Systems, and it's Article 504. Now remember, hazardous locations start with 500 and have the low 500 numbers. So here we are right in the middle of it. As we go down and look for something, look at this. 50470, ceiling. And that's what the uh, question was asking. It was asking the qualities of the seal. Should it be explosion proof or flame proof or none of those or both of those? So let's go look at 504.70. Here we are at 504.70 and it says sealing. And if we look here, it says okay that the seal shall be sealed to minimize the passage of gases vapors or dust such seal shall not be required to be explosion proof or flame proof now that's a bit of, of surprise it's a hazardous location but it's not required for that but let's continue but shall be identified for the purpose of minimizing passage of gases vapors or dust under normal operating conditions and shall be accessible but they aren't required to be flame proof or explosion proof. Now you, you should read this exception underneath and this doesn't change the answer. Since the seals are not required to be explosion proof or flame proof, none of these or D is the answer on our examination. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.